presence of CLI, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my privilege and a great honor to be here to join the event tonight. My name is John Bunjan Sayabong, and I'm currently retired from Orange County Social Services and reside in Santa Ana, California. First, let me briefly introduce to you who's Kamu, which we call our sub Kamu, which means human being. And where are they from? Kamu is the native of Laos, like American Indian in the United States. And Kamu is one of the largest ethnic group based in northern of Laos. They also can be found in Burma, Southwest China, in Sitsong Pana, in Thailand, and in Vietnam. And there's over a million around the world. Uh, in Laos, they reside mainly in Long Prabang, Siang Kuang Province, and Udom Sai. In the United States, they reside mainly in the northern of California. In the 13th century, or around the year of 1320, one ethnic group called Lao or Dao immigrated from southern, northern portions of China Leaded by Kun Lo, one of the seven sons of Kun Burum, came in wait and conquered this territory and drove some of the native inhabitants into remote of mountain area. These highland outcasts known as Kamu maintain their ethnic distinctiveness and live as a scorn minority far away from civilization. Since then, they have lived as a stigmatized minority and have been a justified branded as being a lower people in comparison to the ruling class of the Laotian. The Kamu in Laos in general lack of educational skill that would help them succeed. About 95% are illiterate due to lack of schooling. During the monarchy rule, royal government's aid did not extend into the territory of the mountain tribes. Seems like the Kamu were mistreated and discriminated against. For 30 years from the date Laos gained its independence from France in 1945 to the current government regime took over in 1975, there were only 10 Kamu students who have graduated from high school, and eight out of 10 were from Catholic school. Due to many villages, majority were Kamu in the special zone of Sai Sumbun district, and now is a province of Sai Sumbun, were affected by the Nam Nam River Dam 2 project. So they were refuged by no choice and relocated to the new locations in Samun Mung Phuong, uh, Vientiane's province. We, the CEO, Mr. CEO, and Vice President, had a chance to visit these new locations. We met with the local authority, and they gave us uh, the information about the students' need and tour the villages. They really need to have a library there so they can learn of the school to keep them away from being gangster or doing drugs. And the library will be a good resource for any who use it in that region. So on behalf of these children, I beg you to help them by giving your pledge and support with your good heart and generosity to improve their education for which they have been missing for so long. So they'll know that we, they were not left behind. So thank you for your support and may God bless you all. Thank you. <laughs>